All right, what's up, people? It's me, your boy, Ponish Friday, or uh, Shaman Tanks, as some may know in game. So, uh, have you recently uh, got your Shaman to level 70 and were tanking on it? And did you want to gear it up? Well, today, you found the right video. So, normally, at least how I would expect most people to have done it, if you know how Shaman Tanks stat priority goes, is stamina is way up there, at least while leveling. And I've had my fair share of green gear, stamina, both the wazoo, but uh, yeah. What we're actually going to be doing is PvPing. No dungeons, no raids to get our gear, it's just straight up battlegrounds. You could do some arenas too, uh, I haven't gotten around to that, but mainly the reason we're going for PvP gear is uh, it just fucking slaps and it has resilience. So defense rating, we need like... 470 defense rating which is just uh, very unlikely that you'll get that as a shaman like uh, they don't pop defense rating on uh, male gear so yeah how we go around that is we actually go for resilience to reach crit immunity and uh, crit immunity is see how it says reduces periodic damage and chance to be critically hit by 1.93% uh, that 1.93%, I want to get enough resilience till that says 5.6%. Then at that point, in raids, you will never be crit ever by a boss. But you'll still be getting crushing blue. But how we get around that is actually just stacking stamina after you've got your uh, crit immunity. So, yeah. How I went about it, took me like 2-3 days to get my weapons first. Because you just want your weapons, so you pop off you like actually beat the fuck out of people in pvp and also you uh do a lot of threat in pve right having dual wield so how i went about this at least so far like it's been maybe five or six days since i've been level 70 i opted for uh these two i didn't tr i would have went for the same weapon but i feel like uh the macro to equip your offhand would kind of get fucked up having like two of these weapons like it might put my main weapon into that hand type of deal so I just figured to play it safe and get like a totally different item so it's like a reliable macro to equip your offhand and uh yeah got those and then I went for the shield right after that and uh yeah that's just like your basically half your armor right there it's just like a stat stick with armor and uh we're not really caring about the blocks from our shield it's more just the resilience that it gives the stamina that it gives and the huge like uh, increase in armor like i'm literally at 50 percent uh physical damage taken so i could start tanking right now but I, I don't have resilience uh to be crit immune so yeah but i'm not in a rush to do that i've just been doing dps for whenever i want to get into raids uh one of the early weapons you get want to like aim for also even if uh, you end up getting these pvp weapons would be from prince malgazar the decapitator that is our best in slot weapon for even up into wrath of the lich king as a pull weapon because the on use that that thing uh, just fucking hits hard and it's part of the pull advanced pull rotation is using the decapitator as well so uh yeah get that and you can get into a gruel's lair like this is also why i chose to get the weapons because i was able to get into groups just linking my weapons and i told them hey i got some uh hit rating from a uh, quest gear so not a big deal to get into like these uh first raids like karazhan gruel and meg like you shouldn't have to be geared to the teeth but uh yeah here's another uh thing that you could get like i believe 12 stamina so it would actually have like two extra stamina than the pvp shield that i have but uh it also has defense rating and hit rating so it's kind of nice plus uh it's just an iconic shield like you stand out of the crowd uh if you've got this i had the shield on my uh troll shaman tank so i might go for it like i seen it drop actually yesterday but i didn't win the roll so yeah and uh tips and tricks on how to get honor quickly so I've had guildies that are like, how do you get like your weapon so quick, man? And it's like, well, there's this quest here. Uh, like you, you do your daily for the call of arms, but it's the great honor quest. Like you just want to be going through all the BGs. Like what I was doing was mainly farming AV when I first started off. Then I did the uh, Arathi Basin because that was the weekend battleground. And then I would just like get get in uh, whenever I felt like Warsong. I was like, okay, let's get some marks for Warsong. Then 
what I felt like doing some Eye of the Storm was do uh, some of that. Like, it's pretty chill for all of these, like Arathi, Alteric, and uh, Ape. Eye of the Storm, I just mainly defend on most of these maps. On AV, I run to the north and wait for people to get there. Kind of just chill at Van's room to we're ready to pull. Uh, War Song is probably the only one I really have to put effort into, but uh, once you uh, complete this quest, it gives you 629 honor. That's a huge chunk of honor that you probably wouldn't get from just winning a single battleground. So yeah, if you stack up all these, like get like, I don't know, 20 each uh, of each mark, that'd be like close to 12K. That's like enough to buy like a, a piece of gear. Well, most of the gear is like, uh, it's 10K for the helmet, 11K for the shoulders, 10K for uh, the pants, and uh, chest 6k for uh, the gloves and I think everything else here is like 10k for like the accessory uh, items and whatnot. Uh, basically from Tarzan actually uh, <laughs> there's like best in slot shit for your belts uh, glove and braces I believe from the servants quarter. Uh, this thing right here where it says random enchantment that could be up to 80 stamina same deal with uh, the other ones, like that could be up to 80 stamina, that could be up to 80 stamina. I believe I had the cloth version on my uh, other shaman tank, it had 60 stamina, but uh, I just took that because it's better than what I had, like in terms, like stamina is weighed higher on uh, our defensive charts than armor itself, so yeah, stamina is better than armor. So yeah. Um, yeah, let me show you where I buy all this shit. Like, uh, this is normally where I queue. You could, you could do this in Shatrith, but uh, you'd still have to come back here to find the Honor Gear vendors. I don't believe there. I mean, there's a Honor Gear vendor, I believe, in Netherstorm at Area 51. So you could go there as well. Um, and I think there is also uh, another Honor vendor for Tenaris as well. Uh, but that might be like more out of date gear, but. Right now we get season two uh, gladiator gear, so merciless. That's like the most badass looking set in my opinion. So probably the next thing I'm gonna get is my shoulders, head and shoulders after the weapons. That's what a uh, cave weapon normally says. And then I'll probably get these because uh, they're the cheapest. Get them out of the way. But I wanted to get all my expensive pieces out of the way first, which is the weapons and the shield. Each cost 15k each. So I've done about 40 up. Uh, Grinded about 35k honor so far in this uh, first week of being uh, level 70. So, 1200 victims taken. Not bad for uh, less than a week's work, to be honest, but I also have a decent amount of spare time to uh, be playing, so. <laughs> uh, I, I bet, like, there's people that could uh, grind harder than me, though, and they'd have, like, more pieces than me, but this amount of time that I've done. So, uh,. The NPC is over here, this guy. It's where you get your weapons. Uh, I, don't know, I guess they're 14k? I thought they were... Huh. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, you want the ones that are 14k. You don't want to buy the offhand. You want to buy both uh, 2.6 uh, second speed weapons. And, uh, yeah, this is also where you get the uh, totems as well. I believe I opt to get this one where every time I... Sh uh, frost shock or any kind of shock I get 31 resilience over uh, storm strike because it's a ranged ability and it uh, is used more often actually you would actually have more uptime with, with the shock than you would uh, storm strike because it's 10 seconds and this buff only lasts six seconds so it's better to get this one total survival and then it's where I got the shield most expensive piece and then uh, the gear person is over here this lady And this is where you, you find like your gear sets and uh, I believe the tanking one is like the first one yeah you want these ones mainly because they have a shit ton of stamina and uh, resilience all that added up like you're gonna be allowed you're gonna be able to uh, shaman tank without getting crushed well I mean you will get crushed because we can't uh, reach crush cap crit cap though we eat crushes uh, for breakfast so uh I believe that's about it like for uh, a video where you, you're just digging a 70 and you're getting your gear to like start tanking like you don't have to do any dungeons don't gotta do any raids literally just casual bgs even and if you want to take a thing like a step up like do your uh 10 games for arenas like you don't even have to get super high rating but as long as like you're building up arena points i believe 
what I would do uh, with my arena points is get the uh, better shield of this, I believe. And uh, yeah, that is my guide on gearing up your shaman tank once you're level 70. A lot of PvP. Oh, I mean, I could throw in some other odd pieces here. Like, besides Karazhan, there's another thing from, I think it was like... I mean, there's probably more gear upgrades from uh, Black Temple and Hydral. I, the last time I was uh, applying my Shaman was during Tempest Keep and Serpent Shine Cavern, so I'd taken a break, I believe. It was the Fell Reaver pants that are like, uh, actually, wait, yeah, Vo Void Reaver. These ones right here, I had these on my Shaman tank because it has three gem slots and 33 stamina. So you get like, cheese, Louise, Papa Cheese, what is that, 69? Uh, stamina noise so yeah I believe that would be more than what the pants would be from here unless the pants are actually better oh 60 stamina and the other one is 69 so actually the void river pants are actually better than this and uh, yeah there might be a chest as well like I think the tier chest is well uh, for enhanced shamans from what is it tier four i believe or tier five i think is uh the one that kind of looks like this gear basically like uh this magma gear but there's like a, a raid equivalent that looks exactly like it that i believe the chest would be possibly better than this i could be wrong but uh yeah i'm not gonna go looking into uh friggin sunwell plateau and hydral and black temple and shit like that we're not there yet. We're not there yet. You don't need to worry about all this other gear. Like, we're just l reaching level 70 right now, right? So it's like, if anything, you'll be getting into, like, uh, Kara. You'll be getting into uh, some Mag and Gruels. Like, as a DPS, most likely. <laughs> I got in there as a DPS. Like, look at me. I've been go I got some epic gear from uh, Kara. Totally unrelated, though. That's, like, my DPS gear. And, uh, yeah. Now, that is the end of my uh, guide. If you like the video, uh... How about you uh, subscribe and uh, leave a like, dislike, maybe leave a comment if you got anything uh, else to add to the video. Help out other people, aspiring shaman tanks. And uh, yeah, peace.